Hello friends. Do you see my face? It's happened. I got really sunburned on a beach day with SPF 70. So did he. But today, it's our first day off of the week since we've been here. So we are headed to Marissa, which is kind of a beach town. Marissa is known for being a whale watching town. It's where all the cruise ships, or the sightseeing ships leave from. Uh, but there's so a season. Watch, yeah, watch the whales. I think they're already headed somewhere. So I actually have a friend, the same friend um, that we have in Colombo. He has a good friend that has a restaurant and bar in Marissa. Texted him last night only to find out that the government had some issues with tourists or something and they went and demolished all, literally all of the beachside restaurants like in Like 20. Marissa. A 20 some and all. Including like, his. Towards the down. Yeah, like you got a bulldozer just plowed right into them. Um, really kind of mean. I don't understand what went on. I don't know the, the details. All I know is he lost everything. everything. Now he's in Colombo. Uh, but luckily he still has the spirits it seems like, so uh, he actually recommended a place we go to and he called the headquarters called the Damali Inn. I thought, well, okay, so maybe it's a friend of his, he'd recommend we go see their stuff. Looked at TripAdvisor, looked on Google just now, reviews are awesome. So if you like the reviews, it's going to be an amazing experience. So they're heading, expecting us to come here in a few minutes, we'll grab a tuk-tuk and we'll head out. just like Jimmy's friend suggested. She's a really sweet lady that owns it. She's like prepared lunch for us. So he like arranged it and called ahead. And so it's off season right now, so not as many people are traveling here. So she's prepared us a yummy lunch. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, you feel like it's a ghost town right now. Like, there's not a lot of people around. It's, it's a few foreigners, but it's definitely, I don't know why. Is it just because yeah. it's too hot? But like, what makes people not want to come now? That's, that seems just fine to me, it's just hot. Yeah. Waves are just as good. Yeah. yeah. We have actually also found a resort that will let us use their pool for 500 rupees, which is like $3. We're going to have an incredible lunch here at, at Damali, and then we are going to head to the beach in the pool for the afternoon. Oh, no. I've got alcohol or something. Uh, after the, uh, the something they they don't know the the big boy they don't know this is foreigner. Thank you. Look at that, the, the shrimp. They're very good. This looks yummy. That's the shrimp. It smell like so good. It's funny places like this. You just you do take a second, take a look at because it looks like a you know a wall type restaurant. It's a not a big grand facade, no lights. But sometimes it ends up being the best food. You know, everywhere we traveled in Asia, it's like, don't, don't always assume what looks nice is nice. We've got, we've been sick with actual restaurants. And street yeah. food, we've been totally fine. Knock, knock on wood so far. But I mean, seven months into this so far, and we're doing great. And one thing we've come to learn is if the place is empty, it doesn't mean it's bad. It means it's slow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you. It was so much food. That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I take the papada. This chicken curry, the prawns you can share. Ah, oh, okay. And this one? Chicken. Chicken, chicken curry. Oh, two chicken and but then prawns you can take it also. Great. Oh, oh. amazing. Oh my goodness. So good. What what is this squash? The this pumpkin curry. Oh pumpkin. Oh pumpkin curry. Pumpkin curry and home is spicy, I need some. So this is a spread, and it's still not all out yet. But what we have here, this is pumpkin curry. Never had pumpkin curry? I really like pumpkin, but we're gonna try it out. Uh, beans, 
and I'm not sure some kind of like lentils. I think low, yeah, lentils. And two chicken curry, prawn curry with you know. With the heads on. Heads still attached because that's how you how you, you know, roll. They were yeah. swimming this morning. I bet you. Again, let's do it. We train first. I'm not sure what this is a cocktail mix of peppers and. Ooh! A little sweet? Mm. Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh, thank you. That's amazing. It's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty. It's crispy. Wow. It's so good. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't even tried any of this stuff yet. Oh I'm God. still on, on the beans are amazing, the lentils are amazing. She has a cooking school. This may happen. I may need her to teach me all the things. I said, what do you what do you teach? She said, what do you learn? What do you want to learn to make? Oh my god. The best food that I tried. <laughs> good, isn't it? Wow. It's a it's a funny funny thing about like traveling, especially these tropical places, is this is, I mean, Sri Lanka is where spices were originally. I mean, the spice trade has been around here for hundreds and hundreds of years. All of her spices, uh, she grows in her garden and she grinds herself. Like, yeah, all like this, the cinnamon was literally on a tree and she dried it oh. and she ground it up here in like the area. So it's like, oh. it's something to be said about the spices here. I mean, they're fresh, they're good, but when you have them locally sourced, even, they, I mean, they're around here. It's, it's just it's so much more flavorful. I have to say, like, not everyone can, like, we, like, people can cook, but not everybody can, like, cook, you know? She's a talented lady because this is incredible. The pumpkin curry is really good. It's sweet, still a hint of spice, which is a really interesting combination. Delicious. I ate all my lentils. They're wonderful. And then everything is spicy, but it's not too much, right? Like, even Pancha's like, I'm good. I can eat it, you know? So good. One thing to note, I think, too, about... Sri Lankan food is just not Indian food. It's There's really not. But it, it tastes a little different. And, what, and I think the way you can compare it is a little more coconut here. Mm -hmm. um, it's spicy just like Indian food. But there's, the, there's much cardamom. It's more garlic. It's more... The flavor profile is completely it's, different. It's different. It's good. And it has, it's adjacent to Indian food. But it's not Indian food. So definitely worth checking out. And it's definitely its own country, its own culture. Not oh yeah. With. And eat it anyway. Yeah, and come here and eat because you will not regret it. Oh. Wow. We're still working through. Working through all the amazingness. You're doing good, Ponchi. Oh. <laughs> I love it. The lady who owns it, she's so proud of what she does. Like, you can tell she is super proud of her food and people love it. And that makes her heart happy for people to love what she makes. She was going to bring Jimmy more vegetables. She asked if we wanted more rice. So it's almost like... You're coming to somebody's house for lunch instead of like a restaurant. It's really cool. Now we are headed to the beach. Here we come. Yeah. We've made it to Paradise Beach Club. There is a reason why they call it Paradise Beach Club because wow, gorgeous. We're in Marissa, which is a town over from Weligama. And we're just gonna hang out at the pool the beach and it's 500 rupees per person to be here which is about three dollars and fifteen cents so i mean hey. it includes a bed a towel pool access for the day
raining. So we kind of sat for a minute to see if it would stop and it was kind of done by then. So we came right down the street to a cute little coffee place and this is the remnants here of cake. Coconut cake, real coconut cake, which I should have shown you guys. It's I really, really bad because it's really good. And then I got drinks, I got chocolate cake. And so from here, we're gonna go home, regroup, and tonight, we got a special little fun thing we're gonna go do. It's reggae night at one of the bars. Jimmy's excited. Yeah, man. So excited. So we're gonna go do that and have a nice dinner and beach view. So. so funny thing, we came to reggae night, but they weren't open. But even better, we got to eat at a restaurant we've been wanting to eat at. It's called The Cliff from Chef Aquila. He's back here. <laughs> He's actually closed, but amazing to serve us. And so we got vegetable masaman curry, which is Is that out. a meat? Yeah, it's not a meat, so it's all vegetable. Yeah, it's but. out of this world. Delicious. This, I don't remember what she said it was, but it's amazing too. Ah, uh, so good. I can't pronounce that again. I can't say that. <laughs> and then Jimmy got doll and then roti to share. So it's safe to say we have eaten like kings and queens today. This is another incredible meal from really talented chef. So it's been a good day here. So that will end this vlog for today. We're gonna finish eating. We're gonna brave the rain. We have a tuk-tuk waiting on us behind us, thankfully. And we're gonna go home and have a good night and get after it again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.